This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ snapped their four-week winning streaks as minutes from the Federal Reserve's July meeting and comments from St. Louis Federal Reserve President James Bullard indicated that the central bank would likely continue hiking rates in the near term, putting a damper on investors' expectations. But this week was the exception. Of late, there's been more to be optimistic about. After its worst first half of a year in decades, the S&P 500 index has climbed 15% from its mid-June low. The NASDAQ has rallied 20% in the past two months, putting it in a new bull market, despite a 2.6% decline for the week. The Dow is up 14% from its June low after a two-tenths of 1% dip. Riskier and more speculative pockets of the market have led the rally, which has coincided with a decline in bond yields. The Russell 2000 has gained 22% in the past eight weeks, while the technology and consumer discretionary sectors have led the S&P 500. Now, the Spider S&P Biotech Exchange Traded Fund, symbol XBI, is up a whopping 40% since mid-June. Now, the big winners in our portfolio continue to be commodities up 21% and energy pipelines up huge 26% year to date. Now, the extreme pessimism of the first half of 2022 seems a distant memory. The Russia-Ukraine war, inflation, disappointing earnings, a hawkish Federal Reserve recession has become nothing more than background noise. The narrative has definitely shifted to more positive developments. Solid employment, peak inflation, stronger than feared second quarter earnings, a pullback in commodity prices, positive trends in the supply chain, all positive catalysts that have boosted investor sentiment. No surprise here, as I've often said, news doesn't make the market. The market makes the news. From a technical analysis perspective, most markets are now trading at or just slightly below their 200-day moving average. So it may take some time for most of the markets to break through. The S&P 500 200-day moving average stands around 4231. Now, 4231 on the S&P marks the 50% retracement of the January-June bear market decline. As I noted last week, since 1950, the S&P 500, after falling 20% or more on a closing basis, has never retraced more than 50% of that decline and then gone on to make a lower low. Now, if we go on to make a lower low, it would be the first time since 1950. And while markets can do anything, history is now in the market's favor. So for now, buy the dips and enjoy the rips. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience in building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you need to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management.